Hey y'all, we have hit the four weeks and um, I decided uh, it would probably be best for me instead of doing a weekly recap of what's going on to just uh, crash out December and participate in vlog months. Like <laughs> I've never done it before. The tradition is like three years old at this point and I enjoy watching other YouTubers do it. Um, some of which I personally know, but uh, it's been a long time since I've done a daily vlog. And the unfortunate thing, the real ridiculous thing is I can turn around and do this, but can't turn around and do a podcast. And I was doing Got Five Minutes for a while and it just fell off the deep end. Like the struggle is so real. I don't understand. Um, I don't know. It just seems like the best thing to do to uh, just highlight this, this first month of me and some cold ass weather. I can't stand it. And uh, kind of tie up... Uh, the channel you know we have to celebrate at some point uh hitting the 10,000 subscribers a lot of you turned in uh contact information for me to be able to reach out and give you a call during a live stream and I have not forgotten about that I still intend on doing it but we're gonna get these these 31 days of vlogs going on it's gonna be really interesting it's a bit haphazard I don't know why I feel like this is the best time to do it but let's just go with it so I've been out of United States of America since September 18th and I've been in Korea for a little over a month at this point. Um, it's December 1st here. That's wild. Uh, um, I didn't switch from my travel wallet until day before yesterday when I was like, okay, like you're, you're here. You're going to have to go here and put your, your key wallet back out there. Um, couple things that went on um, in no particular order. I finally went to Ashley restaurant, which was the bomb.com. Okay, the elevator just crowded out and my students keep telling me I need to go to this place called Ashley Restaurant. It's a American style buffet named after me. <laughs> so I'm going to check that out today. Yeah, there's a restaurant named after me and it's a all you can eat American style buffet. So I was in heaven. Da, 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 da. It's very much family style. It's a whole bunch of kids. So, of course, this is a highlight to my kids. Samida. Um, they were just bringing me the bill. They bring you, whenever you go to a buffet, they bring you the check first so you know how much everything is. You eat till you throw up, and then you go ahead and pay. So, this will be extremely fun for everyone because I'm the only foreigner in here. So, they are definitely looking at me like. But, uh,. I guess I can load up on some food and see what it's like. Let me show you the menu first off. One of the little specials they got going on right now. This had a buffet. This had a buffet. It's only $10 to eat these things. But my buffet is basically $20. I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm thrilled either way. I ate so much that I stood up and literally my legs almost gave way. I was, I was in it to win it. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, my head teacher at my job told me that one of the classes really, really likes me and I was so exhausted I couldn't process words. I said thank you and I said I will work harder. Then he tells me which class it is and the irony is we were grading papers for one of those classes and one of the students wrote something a little bit crazy about how they think psychopaths are cool because psychopaths don't have feelings. And that happens to be the class that likes me. Go figure. I connected with a psycho. The, the student's not a psycho, but we, we told somebody about it anyway. Just to be on the safe side. Um, what else? I can wander aimlessly around the city with these, albeit it's cold, so I'm not wandering that much. Um, there is a gentleman who is going out of his way to try to learn as much about America as he can for me. And he's slowly learning that American females aren't always that friendly in our approach. That's just my nice way of saying we'll never date. I'll slap you in the face 10,000 times if you think it's a chance. There never will be one. Um, I'm very much enjoying my solo time. I know it concerns some people how much time I like to spend by myself and whatnot, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I like my little apartment. I cook, I make weird soups. <laughs> um, I clean, uh, disinfect, I do laundry, I go to the corner store, grab a ginseng drink, I might go to the movies or I wander around the department stores, the department stores are huge by myself, but I'm digging it, like, it's cold, I am no longer a cold person, it doesn't matter that I grew up in Detroit, I hated it then, so there's a good chunk of time where I just ain't gonna be doing that much, I'm gonna be doing some stuff, like it's gonna be some adventures, cause we gotta vlog every day, but like I ain't gonna be doing the most most like at least you know at least 
Next week, y'all get to go to a K-pop concert with me. <laughs> so, you know, we get to do that. And uh, you'll experience Tibbs Eve with me, which is a Newfoundland, Newfoundland Canadian tradition. Um, gonna kick it with some new fees. I'm gonna go see K. Will at the end of the month. I am hopeful. I'm still trying to figure out how to get Big Bang tickets as well as see Psy Opa because he has a 24 hour well, a overnight concert turn up. It's gonna be lit. But aside from that, like, mm, we're doing too, too much. Like, we're, we're just, mm, we're trying, mm, I got this. Uh, it's just cool. It's cold. The Olympics are coming. I need to make sure my bread is stacked up because I would like to leave work and be able to go and see some of these uh, sporting. But, uh, yeah, like, I'm happy, y'all. That's all that matter, right? I'm having a damn blast. <laughs> but that that's today's vlog. Like, that's, that's all I got. Clearly, I'm going to be doing this every day. So I look forward to sharing some wildness with y'all tomorrow. I got some things on my schedule. But I'm tired now. I'm literally working off of one hour of sleep. Thug life. Not intentional. Just hard working. Bye, y'all.